This is a short little video about my current bike. It is a folding bike by Brompton, which is all handmade in the UK. This version is the Sea Lion Explore Black Edition, and I got it on a sale price over at REI. It's rarely on sale, but right now it is on sale. Today is the last day for it. It is going for 20% off retail, which makes it $1695.99. And you can order it now for pickup assembled and everything at your local REI dealer. So here, here's more about my bike and uh, what I did with it and why a little bit about why it's my daily rider as well as the one that I will be traveling with. This here is the Brompton Sea Line in the red lacquer, black edition. And it's black edition because the components originally were black. It didn't come with a rack. This was a separate edition. It just got an original Brompton rack. Did the bigger wheels up here. Um, I'm waiting for a, another set of wheels to come in back here. And the rest of this is all OEM, except that I have protective covers on here. This actually took a, quite a while to put on. And I got the matte finish one, as you can see. It was glossy below. It's matte on top. I didn't do a really great job on it. And the bubbles, hopefully they go away. They're gonna go away maybe Hopefully in a uh, week or so. Not really sure. It's the first time taking it out. I just applied it yesterday. Uh, this has the upgraded. Uh, this is a separate upgrade. This is obviously a 250 watt motor. And it's a switch kit. 250 watt, 36 volt. Batteries up here. I attached it reverse. This took a little bit longer to install than anticipated. I thought it would be easier, but actually there were some pieces that uh, I didn't know about because I didn't actually open up the manual. Just a, just a generic light that I stuck on here. It does an okay job. I'm gonna put on a Garmin light up here some, sometime a little bit later. Got the Peak Design bike mount, but I'm actually getting another one. This one is just a temporary type of mount that I have on here. Got a Nog Bell. I don't know if I recommend that one. Uh, it's just a little bit soft. I guess it's okay, but it's it's a little bit soft. I understand why people complain about it. The rest of this stuff is stock. This is just a generic uh, aluminum luggage mount thing here. You can get these fairly cheaply, and this was just this just happened to be the cheapest color on here. So the switch kit runs motor wire up all the way through here. Goes to this controller. And this is the bigger battery pack. This is the max battery pack. And I also have an air that's 100 watt hours. And this is the basic control panel. I'd recommend upgrading from the basic one because this is really super basic and ugly. There's a cadence sensor. There's a set of magnets here for the cadence sensor. And the sensor's right here. And I had to attach it a little bit differently than what it says in the book. But as long as I get it close, within a few millimeters, it's enough. So I just attach it right over here. And it, it, it does the job. It senses it up just fine. Everything else is stock. Got the radar Garmin light attached back here. I have a bike alarm here, which I separately attached. This is both a light and an alarm. And I can control the light from here. But the alarm is controlled through here, right over here. And then I have an air tag hidden back here, and I have another air tag uh, equipped item over here. This is the NOG one that is also air tag searchable. And that's pretty much it right now. So as you can imagine, my setup's going to be evolving. I'm going to be doing some other changes, maybe some upgrades. For now, I am trying out different bags and way to mount things on the bikes so that I don't have to wear a backpack. But so far, I like it. And this bag here that you see pictured here is the Vincita. And I like that it just straps without any additional hardware onto the back. And it just holds it pretty tight. I have a link below for this. There are some other videos that people have talked about this particular bag and I'm going to have to agree it's really great. Although I will probably switch to the bigger one because when I am bringing this bag with me, I typically am either going to get more groceries or carry a lot of library books or books back and forth to library. I just simply like to go to the library on my bike. 
So this is going to work out better for me if I just get the slightly bigger one. But this one is available and uh, easily accessible through my link and also um, the big one too, which I'm going to be getting soon. Well, that pretty much covers it for this whole bike video build as I have it right now. Uh, I have less than 100 miles on the bike right now. So as I ride some more, maybe I'll have a little bit more insight and I can then share with you my thoughts on it. That's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.